Hi everyone, welcome to this unboxing of the new Let It Be box sets. In front of me I have the CD set and the vinyl set. So first of all, we're going to look at the vinyl set. So we'll look at the label on the front there. This is uh, made by Optimal Media in Germany. Made in Germany and obviously packaged on the 29th of July this year. One Stück, one piece. So let's dig in. Okay. That's the easiest way. I don't usually do a lot of unboxings of new things on this channel, but I ran a poll last night on the uh, YouTube community page and asked people which set they're ordering. And sort of 35% said vinyl, 33% said CD, and 38% said not at all. So I know a lot of people will have passed on this box set, so I thought it would be a good idea to show it so you could make up your mind and decide which one you want to get, if any, if I manage to change your mind or not. Anyway, this is the uh, vinyl box set, 5LP edition. All the information there about the mixes and what it contains. LP, uh, sorry, Let It Be, plus two LPs of outtakes, jams, rehearsals, and studio chat, plus the Get Back album, 1969, mixed by Glyn Johns, plus the Let It Be EP, 180 gram heavyweight vinyl, half speed mastered at Abbey Road. 100 page hardback, 100 page hardback book with in depth essays track by track recording information and forward by Paul McCartney. That's how it looks inside the packaging book and three LPs. So let's crack the shrink. Let's see if we can just take this little bit off and keep the shrink intact around it. There we go. Let's take it apart. This is the book. Glossy front and back. The pictures from the original front cover album. Looking okay, a little soft maybe. But uh, I've got an original album here so we can just compare. Actually we'll do that when we get to the the album itself and then we can have a look. So quick flick through some of the book pages. There's the forward by Paul in the garden. It is how I want to remember the Beatles, he says. So the rest of the book basically comprises this, lots of fantastic photos, information and documents, which I really like, adverts, text, tape boxes, yeah. lyric sheets, I mean, great book. I mean, it looks to be a really interesting book and look forward to reading all about it. I will be doing a review on these sets in a future video, but uh, for now it's all about the all about the unpacking. So I think you've got a flavor of what's in the book. Right, now let's move on to the LP. And as I said, here's, a, here's an original copy of the LP. Let's have a look. This is the original on the left and the new one on the right. Obviously the colors have been boosted and yep, yeah, it's pretty, the new one on the right is pretty soft compared to the one on the left, which is now the right, the original on the right. This is the original. Yeah, see, it's uh, it's been softened like a lot of the footage in the new film or the trailer of the film anyway, which has been the subject of discussion on the boards recently. So there we go. Original, new one. Yeah, again, 
better quality photos used in this one. It's difficult to get them together. There we go. They've been lightened, not so contrasty, but definitely a clear difference. And the red apple, which is originally in the original box set on top, has been replaced by a green apple printed and made in the EU. And there's all the text at the bottom. Spines are, well, actually you can't see the spines very well. Um, but one interesting thing that I do note is that, uh, are these fonts different or the same? They're slightly different, aren't they? This top one here is the original, uh, which apparently uses a, a font called Chantilly Serial Heavy. And the one underneath on the new one is a uh, Futura Extra Bold. So I don't know whether they've done that for artistic purposes or it's just an error, I don't know, but it's different, subtly so, but different. Okay, let's move on to what else we've got in the box. Got a leaflet here, um, $60 advertising the book. Haven't got the book, but from what I've seen, it looks to be excellent. Um, let's look at the, let's see, is this the original LP? Which is the LP? This one, I think. I don't know. Oh, this is the LP, isn't it? Of course, the first one. Right, so let's have a look at that first. There we go, that's the Apple label. And let's see what's in the dead wax. There is a little message in the dead, dead wax, actually. What does it say? Uh, can you see that? Maybe you can see that. I can't see that. Miss. I really can't. Uh, okay. Yes, Miles. Abbey Road, half speed. Half speed room 30. That's what that says in there. Anything else? Uh, let's have a look. There is a matrix in there somewhere. Sorry if you're not getting this completely. I'm trying to look while I'm filming. Just a normal matrix. No other, oh, there's another one there. And from what the box says, this was pressed at Optimal in Germany, not at uh, GZ in the Czech Republic, but Optimal who seem to get all the big stuff. And it's usually better for it. While we're here, Let's just compare the picture of the original Apple album against the uh, Apple label against the new one because I always think the old one looks much better. That's the old one and the new one. Yeah, I think the old one looks better. I don't know, the new one just looks too, I don't know. What do you think? You tell me. <laughs> You're better at describing these things than I am. Just have a look at the other side. The other side looks better actually when compared with the original. But uh, the script around the edge of the label is very small, whereas it's uh, very clean and clear here. Alan Aldridge's handwriting apparently around the edge of the original Apple label. Anyway, that's the first album. Next is this one, which I think is the Glyn Johns mix in the originally proposed cover, shot in May 69 by Angus McBain, the person obviously who shot the Please Please Me cover back in 1963. This is, yeah, indeed the 1969 Glyn Johns mix. Again, that cover is a bit, oh, I don't know. It looks all right, doesn't it? Don't pick too many holes. This is a reproduction of an original UK Apple single sleeve. I believe the American ones had the Beatles on Apple records, but the British ones just had Apple. This is the EP. Unreleased uh, Glyn, John, Glyn John's mix of Across the Universe and I Be Mine, and the new mix of the original single version of Don't Let Me Down, 
and another new mix of the original single version of Let It Be. That's nice and heavy too. Finally, this one in the record set, the Apple Sessions, Rehearsals and Apple Jams. Sort of a white version of the original album cover. Some tracks in mono, denoted there by the asterisk. Okay. And inside, there's a picture from Twickenham and other pictures from Savile Row and on the rooftop. Nice and glossy, same black inner sleeves, reproductions of Apple acetate labels, custom recordings, similar to the Isha demos with the typewritten text here. Get back Apple sessions, side one and side two, mixing up mono and stereo. And same with the other one. Side one and side two. So these also have the um, Miles Abbey Road Half Speed Room 30 uh, inscription in the dead wax, as all the other ones do, I think, as well. So Miles, we'll see how well you've done with those a little later on when we come to review those. But that is the LP box set. to digging into that in the days to come. So the UMG supply chain has worked its wonders via uh, Sony in the Czech Republic and by Amazon in München Gladbach. So there we go, a sort of mini version of the LP box. So you see the size, this is LP size, and this is more sort of book size, if you like. So same information on the front there. This book, actually this book is matte, which is one difference to the LP book, because the LP book was, was very glossy, but the CD book is matte. I'm not sure which one I like best. I think I like the glossy best, actually. Okay. And no spine text. Hopefully these spines will hold, hold together better than the originals. So anyway, same. Same format, same book, well, actually not same format, but same information inside. But uh, I don't know, I, I quite like the, let's have a look at the format difference. This is the, the LP book and this is the CD book. Same information, but quite a lot of empty space on the LP book but uh, and a little bit bigger pictures in the LP book obviously because it's a bigger format anyway so that's the book of the CD set again another little leaflet advertising the six edition set which this is and the book <clears throat> and this is a uh, the folder containing the media. There's a slightly different shot there from the front of the other cover, I think. And one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> so a quick look at the CDs. Uh, let it be. Just nothing inside there at all. I saw a Japanese unboxing, which they have these little uh, sort of um, opaque polythene sleeves, but uh, not in this one. 
manufactured in the EU. That's the Glyn Johns mix. Yeah, the Japanese sort of seem to have packaged it a bit better. Although these are not sort of overly tight in here. This is sort of quite loose, but uh, I would have liked a little polythene inner. That's the Apple Sessions. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is the Let It Be EP. Rehearsals and the jams. And the Blu-ray. I do have a Blu-ray player, but I don't have a, a 5.1 audio setup on it. But uh, I'd really like to hear that at some point. But now I've got the Blu-ray disc. That's something to aim for, isn't it? Anyway, I will be reviewing these sets in a video on the channel. Maybe next week, the week after. It depends how long it takes to get through all these and digest it properly. You know, because I really want to go through everything and compare everything to make sure I give it a fair hearing. But anyway, that's the unboxing of the um, vinyl and the CDs out of the way. If you got yours today, I hope you enjoy yours. If not, maybe you'll hang on for my review shortly. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.